forward to playing a combo heavy character. If you were playing a wolf early in this meta or a sheik in Smash 4, this is really the character for you. No, I just really like the fact that it's music, my guy. Like, oh, every of time you see the animation, the victory screen, just winning with that character is satisfying. It really is. So we're seeing the wolf out from Tribal? That's what yeah. it looks like. Actually, uh, actually curious to see who. Uh, because we're, we're expecting Joker, right? Have to imagine. Fox against... Yeah, there it is. Fox against Wolf is just a much poorer matchup from Eon's perspective. <laughs> that is actually kind of difficult, actually. Like, yeah, I would imagine that Wolf is better in this game. Still, despite nerves. You'd think so, right? Game one. This is a best of five in Winter Semi, so on to PS2. A lot of room and a lot of... You know, a lot of adaptations to be made, and... Charlie starting out with lasers. I like that game. Wolf usually looks pretty good at that. Good fair setups, fair near. F tilt, already 53%. Really playing the neutral very well. Although as he slides in, down tilt, going to be met with Eon Shield. So finally finds a bit of a pathway back. Nair a bit too outward, but almost got that F smash as well. Uh, but here comes Arsene, the game changer. I'm actually uh, uh, anticipating to see if he actually, if Eon, how, how Eon uses Arsene. So back off stage though, that Egeon has a bit of a lasting hitbox, so dissuaded Charlie from just hogging the ledge, but he will go for these down smash two frames, any opportunity you afford him. Was it just, oh wow, he already went, he got Charlie off stage and Charlie couldn't make it back. Yeah, interesting. Whenever Arsene is out, the Tetragarn is just such a hindrance to Wolf's pretty straightforward recovery, and Eon will be very happy to throw it out. A couple of up airs in a row is already going to tack on a bit more extra credit. Jeff's coming up from Charlie. You can actually just go ahead and finish Eon's stock like that. Yeah, landing bear from Charlie. Before things get too out of hand, Eon already forced to play this neutral game once more. Mm -hmm. Still has a long way to go to go ahead and build up our set. But he, he can still go ahead and do that pretty quickly, I'm sure. Liking these bullet arts, great parry from Charlie. I love this juggle situation that he has. Spot dodges out of that one, but the F-Silt will send him back off the platform, just saying, this is my space here. Question is if he can maintain it. No, I love the fact that Joker can still despite anything, even the space and disadvantage if he needs to. But that rebellion gauge is almost full. Arsene will be coming out at any moment. And there he is. Charlie's in for a world of hurt if Eon can just get something started. But the up smash out of shield, it's frame 13 so fast for that large hitbox that provides. Ooh, that back air. Oh, it didn't kill. Oh, he tried for the Terracon guard. But Charlie's facing that perfectly to land on the edge, not above it. Tetracarns him away, and now Charlie's going to be sent back. Recovered very high to avoid the Tetracarn, although that returning back air from Eon is going to be putting Charlie out of that second stock. He's once again in the driver's seat. Right, Charlie now readjusting his chair, ready to go ahead and try to continue for this next stock. But can he take it? It looks like uh, it looks like Eon's already starting to go ahead and start to run away with this a little bit. Wanted the fair flash, but just out of that percent window, and Eon is going to get put in the grab anyway, so not too much loss there for Charlie. Charlie still has a chance to set guard. He can keep him off the stage, but not quite. That up smash goes unpunished. Now Young has our center because he's got it. And again, look at the way that Charlie is facing. He's facing backwards when Eon's off stage. That's just a telltale sign of him wanting a back air. Absolutely. And it's not a bad thing to go ahead and tear tell. But because he's not quite near the stage quite yet. But he wants it. He needs it right now, actually. Yeah, back throw. Going to kill, but just barely. And now Charlie, 65% down, has to find some window back into this game. He does have the character that can win with the neutral, though. He can indeed. That crab just barely whiffed in the outside of that bubble there. Charlie wouldn't like that. Oh, fair setups. Up throw into up air from Charlie is going to put Eon on to 41%. But almost Arsene's coming back out. This is the interesting. Now this is going to be the hard part for Charlie. If he can survive Arsene, he might have a chance. Oh my gosh! Fair, I wasn't expecting that. Fair into flash is a true confirm. If you can read the DI, you have about 18 or 19 frames to do so, but gets caught in the egg Aeon once again. And now Charlie is into triple digits. This could be the death of him if he's not careful. One back here can dispel everything. He's, he's still living! Terracon? Terracon. Tetracarns him back off stage. Eon take him one with a bit of a plum there. Dominant down the line after a bit of a shaky end to that second stock. And I just love the victory animation. I love it too, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm jamming out. 
<laughs> oh, man. I was love seeing him run across the screen. That's honestly the best part for me. But these two actually going in and playing back forth. I love seeing the momentum changes that they're both playing. And neither side, it felt like it was lopsided or one-sided. It was just a momentum switch after momentum switch. Certainly. You could see Eon was getting 40% at a time, but Charlie never falling too far out of it. He's going to get these fair confirms and some of these, you know, these low percent strings. Any opportunity he gets and... Once again, we saw with that fair flash there, he can pull something out of the bag that no one expects. I didn't expect it. Somebody else might have. I, my son would be like, how could you not have been there growing? And I'm like, I didn't. Oh, okay, because you're going ahead and using the Rebel Scar to go ahead and take out the, the first laser. Only one fair from Charlie, and already back into the down throw, and now Eon has him trapped on top of the platform. He's trying to move out of that trap. Still in it. Right up there, said, oh, just barely misses with the guard there. Charlie actually able to go ahead and attack back on some 4%. Landing there with the rapid jab as well. Arsene coming out here. Ooh, missed with that down smash, though. Got punished for it. The range with the dash attack, and now Eon has stage control once more with the dare into up smash. Charlie in. was in a bit of trouble there, but finally found his footing, and now he's going to get the up throw. But not gonna really get much off of it. Oh, there's that down smash! Tech in place, and that was not the right option for Eon. Just inwards went those claws, and those down smashes have killed at much lower percents than that. Well, we tried to go for the dash tech there. That's probably should be combo. Good parry, but nothing to follow after that. Back throw from Eon will put him back off stage. Have to imagine that another one might kill. Not, well, maybe. Maybe one more. Very close. Wow, Eon going ahead and putting this great offstage ledge pressure. Even got caught with the Aha there. This time, Anair into the fair flash as well. The second time we've seen him hit that conversion. and I wasn't a surprise. This time, this time I'm like, oh, he could do that. Okay, this is an option. <laughs> Another one. This time, the up throw won't be met with an up air option, but. He's just going to use the opportunity to regain stage control. Throw a few lasers to deplete the Arsen. Up smash out of shield as well. Ooh, that was great. Four art into the... Uh, into a, is that a back air actually? Wasn't a back air. I believe that might have been either a nair or a forward air. Probably fair. Yeah. I just, I just didn't look at, look at it. I was just surprised he actually turned that situation around. Excellent angle on the firewall from Charlie. A lot of people would be tempted to just flash back to the stage, but it is punishable from that distance. Absolutely. Careful, Charlie actually, you know, like, I thought he was playing really dominant the first two stocks, but now it looks like Eon's starting to go and get a space back in. Keep the patience and wait to see what Charlie tries to approach. Good, F-Tilt will put Eon to 111%, although he lands with his own back air. Yeah, Charlie getting a little too greedy for what he's trying to go ahead and force on what he wants, but he can't get it. Yeah, got that angle entirely wrong, and that'll be an easy down smash for Eon. He's going to be the first one to send Charlie to his final stock. It's going to be a really tough situation for Charlie. He's doing really well so far in the first two stocks. But now it's the final stock for this game, at least. Landing we'll back see here. see if we can take it to a game three. Just a move chock full of kill power, and especially when Charlie's going to land it at the ledge. That is going to kill, especially when he's into triple digits. Right, Eon starting with the first combo. Wow, 41% already. Let's see if he can actually default to great grab. on that final hit, gets the down throw into dash attack as well. So Charlie making this percent deficit up only for the moment though. This is actually a little more intense. Arsene's out. Read the roll in with the down smash, although returns with the back air. Ooh, this is really rough. That almost looks like it's gonna kill if he actually gets hit by another one like that. Yeah, caught him DI'ing inwards, and that's gonna be an easy up air confirm off the down throw, but. Oh, wow, up tilt! On top of the platform as well, Charlie with the exact amount of rage needed. If Charlie was 20% downwards, that might not even had... Just not even close. Not Wouldn't have sent him that far, but... That stretch would have been for nothing. Good pull muscle. <laughs> that outstretched leg going to do it. Eon is going to be falling down to a 1-1. Still the joker from him. Wouldn't imagine he'd be switching in any case, but... Sticking with the main here. I'm liking it. The final destination, final round, the best of 
Knock back pressure from the Charlie. Yeah, they've been play placing back and forth quite a bit, but I feel like he has been playing like really, really crisp. But he's got no platforms to go ahead and capitalize on afterwards. He cannot, indeed. There's just going to be nothing for him to even get a couple of up airs at mid percents to start. Um, if you can catch him DIing in on a couple throws, then you can find it off of that. But other than that, it's just going to be raw. If he wants to find, almost got the fair dare that time. That was a really good reversal from Charlie Swift for the last stage. And now Ian's gonna, ha gonna have a gonna have persona. He's ready for us. Charlie did really capitalize on that. Bit of a DBZ there. Drifted back just in time. You could see he wanted either the, the down smash, but that up smash is going to send him right off the top. Charlie the King cleaning up that first off. Yeah. Was actually, I think the first time he's actually rolled in too. It was a really great read. Actually, be a little bit more tense now. To, you know, take the first stock. You can already see. I can already see Eon already trying to go and play a little bit more safe. A throw into fair this time. Reads the DI well. Landing back air. I'm not going to get anything out of that. Starting the fair train. This time the nair sends him a bit upward, so that's a bit of an awkward angle for him. Got the damage, but had to relinquish stage control for it. He wanted the flash, this time he's gonna get punished. Ooh, good attack. Dash attack will send him back off stage. Gonna have to flash back. And he did miss the ledge, so that was punishable from Eon, but he was hanging at the ledge. Perhaps waiting for a drop down there. Good forward tilt actually up from Eon. Another great forward tilt. All, all the only thing I can say about that is that 121%, it's possible to go ahead and start turning the stock around. Does, does he have more of the momentum? I don't know if he's got the gas in it though, because right when he gets the respawn, he's already, Charlie's already put himself in the advantageous stage. Up to match, out of shield, not quite gonna mark, but the back air, even across the stage, that'll... I'll that, up any person's stock. I mean, that just shut me up real quick. That, has, that move has kill power in spades, and as we saw right there, it's been such a useful tool for Charlie this entire set. Charlie, Charlie's got one more stock to go ahead and clean up, and he's gonna go ahead and send the Eon to the loser's bracket. This is best of five, so oh, there would be a mind. there would be a fourth game, but he is very close to taking this game three, as we see here. Right. Going ahead, good space now for the lasers. I like how he's backing up, trying to get the space control. But it looks like Eon's starting to go put him in this fast state. Not gonna get that ledge option though. We'll stack Charlie with a stock advantage to play with, although the egg Aeon will make the bit of percent back up. Down throw. Just missed that up smash. Our sense gone. And look at the way that Charlie's facing. If he's facing backwards up the ledge, that means he either wants perhaps a back throw, perhaps to read a roll with one of that, or reverse F tilt might do it as well. And the back air, of course, the creme de la creme. Absolutely. Wow. Stuffing out with that up smash. This is a, that was a lot different play style from Charlie. I like the way he's playing. Yeah. Up smash out of shield has a deceptively large scooping hitbox, and it just covers so far away. Arsene's dash attack doesn't cross up, so that's just gonna be to his detriment if he ever wants to get a bit hasty and throw it out. Stop we'll have to be a little more careful on shield with that. But now Fox versus Wolf, actually. This is interesting. I'm actually curious to see how, Eon, how Eon's Fox plays out against Charlie's Wolf. Interesting. Fox, of course, a little bit lighter, so might be able to escape some of these fair confirms. And Slightly earlier percents, but all the while that just means earlier kills for Wolf back air. Right, if he can continue to win the neutral the way that he's been in the last game, then he just might go ahead and clean the stocks up a lot sooner. Wow, it looks like it looks like he's wow, Charlie actually going ahead and placing out with his edge cards really well. Can he get the two frame on this as well? He won't, but he wish he did. <laughs> wow, Eon coming back with these that was incredible, coast to coast. And almost off the top. All aboard American Airlines, as we just see from Eon there. <laughs> that was clever. American Airlines, I'm stealing that. <laughs> this time, though, the Nair is just a bit too late, and he gets the up air as well. That was a great read on the jump. I'm surprised that didn't kill. Yeah, Kalos has very high ceilings, but perhaps on a few other stages that might have killed. Up smash out of shield from Eon will take Charlie's first stock, even off the top, even with these higher ceilings. Down tilt, gets to the F tilt afterwards, 17% already parries the laser, I like that. 
A couple of nares into the rapid jab, though. And he misses the tech. This is going to be... Oh, well, he didn't go for the reset. I thought, I thought maybe he would have been. Wow. Eon already going ahead and just starting to run away with these stocks. What a great ad adaptation. This time, though, the dash attack from Charlie the King. It does sweet spot. What it, oh, wow. Getting that the side B into the up air. Perfect. That was great. Yeah, perfect just delaying himself with the illusion, although the back throw is going to send him tumbling almost towards that corner. I can't believe that didn't kill. He's still at 150. He's dead now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no sooner do you say it, that that F-Tilt is such a potent option, and if Eon just drifts in offstage, Charlie will be all too eager to go for it. it seems like uh, Charlie can go ahead and make it back to stage and stay alive for long enough to go ahead and attack on some 50%. He's at 142, so... It's going to be kind of rough to go ahead and keep it alive. A slight arrow, a back arrow, an up smash, an up air. Any of those could go ahead and kill him. Fair into Flash once again will put Eon up to 81%. And Charlie already starting to make this back, but Eon not going to let this lead slip. If he has anything to say about this, back air is going to send him tumbling. Charlie already down to his last stock, and this is looking like it's heading toward his Game 5. It very well could. It'd be interesting if it does go to a game five. I'd love to see if Charlie goes and makes the adaptation. But it looks like he's already starting to go ahead and play a little bit more patient. Keep the spacing out. But still gonna go fall simple to the grab. He's just fishing for some of these back airs or perhaps a throw combo as well. Good early percent kung fu from Eon. Uses the wall jump to make it back though. That's such an advantage that you can be afforded on this stage. That was really good, actually, with that shielding change. Not shielding the flash box. I'm surprised if he actually was able to shield that, I bet you could have gotten a really good punish off of afterwards. Landing there, though, just as that expires. He's not too frame of the F-Tilt, although he just had so little invulnerability left on the ledge, and that second F-Tilt, more than enough to clean out that second stock. Ooh, good parry. Down throw. Can he get this edge guard up to him? Oh, it goes for the grab, just misses. Charlie able to go ahead and put 33% on that. Not, not bad, but if he does, he does that a couple more times, he actually he actually might just go ahead and take this game. Slowly but surely, although that being said, the dash attack from Eon will put Charlie almost into the hundreds. Good there from Eon. Rolls I feel like this is really, really dangerous coming out from Charlie. Anything like an up smash would go ahead and kill right about now if, he could, if, if Eon can land that just right. Yeah, the moment Charlie misses a tech, that might as well be game over. Although good landing there, and it's gonna be Eon who misses a tech, although Charlie reads the roll in the entirely wrong direction. Good fair. Still really, really difficult. It's okay, 89%, it's very it's doable now. Charlie just advances forward with the dash attack, rolls backwards out of danger. But now the Nair. Absolutely test. Does it end all right here, or are we going to go another game five? That throw from Eon. Flashes back. Did not even expend the jump. That's really great. Oh, wow! Landing. We're going to a game five. Yeah, landing bear from Eon. Just enough. We could see him dragging down. It hit the very top of, top of Wolf's hitbox, and Eon not losing his cool. It's going to be a decisive winner-take-all game. I, I don't even want to put my money on it, folks. Does anybody in the chat want to? This is just too close to call. <laughs> and it's really great. I love the I love the switch and this momentum changing every game. Early meta is always so fun with Neo Shadow. First year of Smash is always so much fun. Here we go. Eon against Charlie the King. Number seven in SoCal versus number nine. A ticket to winner's finals. Up for grabs. It's going to be PS2 as the venue for game five. Good music too. I love what the music that they already picked out. <laughs> Still going back and forth. This spacey battle is gonna be a, is gonna be tried and hard. Up throw into the up air. That is true if you do read the DI and Charlie the King is a master at that. The blaster will put Eon up to 46%. Charlie enjoys a slight percentage lead to start this one off. The reaction time for both players is actually incredible. It's already showing up the back and forth. Um, even though he missed the F smash, he still was able to get a forward tilt on it. I feel like I'm watching like, just a, like some sort of anime episode. Although that time, if at first you don't succeed, up smash again. Charlie the King closes out that first dock and only 33% taken. Absolutely steamrolling Eon thus far. See if he can keep that steamroll going. He's got to make sure to keep all that locomotive juice going. 
Just can't run out of steam quite yet. Eon already going ahead and starting to attack on 8%, but he's got to do a lot more if he's going to get himself back in this game. Once again, another up throw up air from Charlie. Although that being said, Eon lands with an aerial and back air. Did get the illusion that covered just so many options and Charlie unable to pick one in time. Backstage, that Nair off the stage, able to jump off the ledge. Almost free. Charlie just opting back to get back into the... He's, it feels like he's just getting back off the stage free. Down throw, is he gonna go for a laser? No, he's just gonna go for a, an attempted read for the up air, but makes it back safely, lands with an air. Okay. Gets the grab. Down throw, puts the laser, just going out for percent. Illusion's back, not even trying to be caught with that two frame. Ooh, gets the flash all the way across the stage. Charlie the key going and taking that second stock from Neon. And I hesitate to call this early, but it this is looking like Charlie's set to be lost here. Ooh, that, that is some commentator's curse, my guy. You have that kind of power, you do know, right? <laughs> Might be a little too late to call it, though. I mean, go ahead and clip this if I'm wrong, but right now it looks like Charlie's just compiling the pressure. to go for the perhaps the shine spike but you know, that would have been crazy I feel like Charlie's actually going ahead and getting really getting that off stage hit. oh wow that up air I didn't even expect that very daring play he might have just dipped a bit too low if that was seconds later but Eon manages to find the kill and at 127% is going to have to play near perfect if he wants to set I don't, I don't know if he can take it it might be too late but it I could be wrong Do I mean if there's any player in SoCal that can finish this off, it is Eon. I mean, right now he's playing really, really well. That Dragon Ball Z, even not that bad of a favor. He's still back on the stage. Back row, that's it. Didn't get the DI read. And Eon just extends the hand. Very disappointing there. He was having a bit of luck making it back, but all 